guys. It's been a little, little bit over a year since I've done a parts tour, but you guys have been asking for one of these for a long time, so it's time to make another one. I got a lot of new parts since the last video, so this is going to be a very long video. I'm going to try to keep it short, but I already know it's going to go over. But anyway, starting off, we have my first ever elevator part that I got back in 2009. Adam's indicator. Next to it is a drop key box with the drop key inside of it. There's the hammer. We got a fire alarm up here. Gentex. And above it is a Samsung security camera. It doesn't work, by the way. It's just there for looks. Right here, we got a control valve metal sign on top of a fire key box, which I actually have locked. Um, inside, there's some keys and some fire sprinkler caps. There's an exit sign, a very cool one. I love the arrow going through the word circuit breaker plaque and that thingy on my light switch in case of fire sign on top of an exit sign simplex pool station faraday pool station and firelight pool station and here's a emergency light emergency light logo sprinkler fire alarm sign star sprinkler corporation sprinkler alarm cover fire pump sign sprinkler control valve sign Montgomery logo big Montgomery logo love that and that one here's an exit sign that I got from an abandoned building I wired it up so that it doesn't run off electricity anymore and now it runs off of a 9 volt battery so you can like turn it on and off. It makes a good light. Here's a huge Westinghouse logo from Sam. Came off of a motor. And right here we have in case of fire sign. Here's a Chinese uh, elevator COP from Tyler. Stop run. It's got the keys too for a key stop run switch right here stop run Pretty cool right here is a innovation Kone Delta ooh everyone's favorite California code compliant innovation universal access phone jack elevator sign Matat dumbwaiter advertisement it's very cool, you can see how they built them. There's the call station, which I have. Got an elevator sign. A vintage Otis indicator from Sam. Very cool. Inspection sign that I've never seen before. In case of fire sign from Sam. So is that one. We have a huge Westinghouse this car up indicator from my uncle. Underneath it is an Otis Lexan floor indicator in case of fire sign. Now, this indicator is actually wired up to this Adam Survivor Plus call station so that when you push up, this car up lights up. Push down the down lights up vice versa <laughs> moving here we have two Adam COPs this one is from Leo this came out of Macy St. Paul St. Paul Minnesota fire service manual auto run I guess this is a ERM key switch these were actually just filled uh, holes and I put my random key switches in here. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower lobby, door open, alarm, stop, run, and 
just another random key switch I put in there. Here's a smaller panel from a local elevator company. One shoe button from Sam. And then here's the door open, door close, alarm, stop, run. Elevator technology. Access, fire service. And I was bored one day, and here's a computer fan. Get the key, put it in the fan switch. What do you know? It turns the fan on. Yep, just another one of my mini board projects. We have a rare Dover vandal resistant call station. Car top inspection from a local elevator company. Light. Uh, up, down, stop, run, normal inspection, and that's the enable that you have to push down to activate these. On top of it, we have a wheel lock fire alarm. Here's a little Art Deco Adams Survivor call station from Epco Elevator Company. PTL call station from PTL. There's that Adams. Doesn't light up. Otis hat, escalator comb plate relay box Montgomery elevator leveling switch Mac interlock CJ Anderson pen Otis pen with an elevator inside of it pretty cool load test plate door gib holder star elevator maintenance stickers some various relays more relays that thing oh here's something cool so here we have light fan low high off little zappy button I don't know what that is independent service inspection yeah, then this is manual run. And there's an outlet and a computer cable. Here are two call stations from my favorite elevator, which is now gone. It was demolished to make way for a new mall. These are from the Montgomery Glass Elevator at Westfield Downtown Plaza. That's from first floor and that's from the parking level. Nothing really special. Aside from the fact that it's from my favorite elevator, Innovation Security. There's a Schindler HT circuit board. Came out of my Schindler HT lantern. This thing from ThyssenKrupp. GAL interlock. Or actually, no, this isn't an interlock. This is a, the contact for the inner doors. Some key switches. Chime box, Adams, door rollers, part of a um, counterweight, to be used in case of fire button, another one, another one, GL one. These, uh, um, what can call it? When you hold them down, they turn off the door sensors. And they're, you can only find these in California, I think. I forgot to show this. This is an innovation floor indicator. Down here we got innovation pinnacle. It's wired up to that ThyssenKrupp vandal resistant lantern to the right of it. So when you push... Yeah. And here we have... Dumbwaiter buttons from that Matot dumbwaiter from an abandoned building. I wired it up to that innovation indicator to the left of it. So when you push that, that lights up. And when you push down, 
That lights up and rings. Here we have United States logo on United States capacity plate holder. Very cool. Here's some uh, phone bells. Schindler DVD. There's the two chime boxes. We got a roller, some books from ThyssenKrupp, and an explosion proof micro switch that isn't micro at all. This right here is one of my favorite board projects. This is, I call, the bell board. So basically, I had these three bells that I like out of all my collection, and that I could wire up, obviously. I got a piece of wood from my old desk, I cut it up, and then I put these bells on it. Bought some little buttons off of Amazon, and then put the logos there. So, if you couldn't already tell already, we got an Otis, a Dover, and a Westinghouse bell here. So, here is the Otis bell. Very loud. We got the Dover traditional. And... Westinghouse. The dinner bell. Down here, we got this Adams call station wired up to a Houghton Bell from Sam. Very loud. Kone KSS something. I never really knew the models for these. Here's ThyssenKrupp Lantern. A limit switch. ThyssenKrupp Aurora. This one doesn't have a thing. ThyssenKrupp button. Signa 4 button. These are all mad, by the way. And then this is the sale sample that I'm sure a lot of people have. Rotary elevator logo. Here is a wheelchair lift part that I took from an abandoned wheelchair lift. That building's gone now. On top of it is a dot matrix indicator. There's a phone, Viking phone. Wired it up so that lights up. Various door brails from local elevator company. Fire service sign. A brake monitor. And here's armor indicator. Right here is PTL Performer California Code Compliant. Oh boy, look at it, sticks out. This is from Leo, this is, um, shit, uh, Epco, there we go, and then this is, uh, Innovation, that kind of dying, but, uh, yeah, Innovation Universal, newer one, that's not California Code compliant, Regency, Electrodyne. This is rare. It's not supposed to push, but I took out a bolt on the back so that it pushes in. Very, very rare. Right here are two of my COPs. This is a Dover black button, as you can tell. Fire service. That's supposed to be on the outside, not the inside, but there was an extra hole here, so I felt like filling it in. Door open, one, two, three, alarm. Run, stop. This is armor that I wired up. Alarm, stop, run. No key for that, but I got the key for that. Sort of cut out. And real quick, this is my, uh, resource drawer, I guess. I got light bulbs, nuts and bolts, screws. These are basically what I use to wire up some of my elevator parts. There's some battery clips, 9 volt batteries, all my tools. And then here is my junk drawer, 
as literally as it sounds, it's just random elevator parts. Like that, random innovation parts. Here's a GAL floor indicator, Adams indicator, fake security camera, two bells. And then this is Dover schematics. Up here we got all these old advertisements that I just printed out. And here is my main display. Started off with one shelf, I got this other shelf to put next to it and now it's just freaking massive. So I guess we'll start over here. Uh, up here are two projects that I did back in high school. Or actually, this one's from high school. Junior year, my physics class. I had a button in there so that when you push it, the green light on the top would light up. I took it out. This is an 8th grade game board project that I just made and was bored. Over here, that gold indicator is Westinghouse. One of my first elevator parts, too, from eBay. Scored that for 25 bucks. How about that? Montgomery Floor Indicator. Westinghouse Floor Indicator. And we got a picture that I printed out. I took that. Westinghouse AE Direction Lantern. Old Certificate. Schindler Stop Key. And we got this EPCO Lantern from EPCO. EPCO. From EPCO. Otis Lanyard. And some advertisers there. Look at that. That's Otis Touch showing how sensitive it is. You can push it with your nose. I like that ad. Over here, we got an Otis Black Button Freight call station. Wired it up. In use. No spring in that one. Dover Black Button. Uh, whoa, what was I talking about? That's Otis Black Button. I'm tired. Wired that up too. Otis Lexan from Jason. He fixed up that bottom button. It was really, really crusty. But he he got paint and he painted it and it looks nice. Here's a ugly California Code compliant Lexan. G A L C O P light emergency stop here's a call station from the same elevator Montgomery Square or GMP however you guys want to call it and the key switch is kind of stuck this is from Clay old GAL call station that I sent to CJ Anderson to uh, restore Westinghouse Triangle from Jared. That's from Jared to you. Otis Touch. One of my first parts. Elevator key. This little call station that Jason made with his 3D printer. Very cool. And a US logo that he also made. Elevator sign up down these go next to the button just to show you how small this is yeah fire service signs another fire service sign down here we got a phone box cover this is from clay I'm not sure if this is like a dead man's control for a freight elevator or if it's a car top transfer I have no idea what that means stop GAL Jet Plus. Oh, wow. There it goes, but access. Another GAL Jet Plus. Hot and Triangle from Sam. Wired that up. Hot and L series from Sam, too. Westinghouse fire service from an abandoned building. Adams home elevator call station from Epco. Adams survivor. 
Here's some Westinghouse logos. Tyson Krupp logo. Schindler, Hollister Whitney, Westinghouse. Montgomery Kone, Westinghouse, Elevator Technology, Tyson Krupp, Houghton, Kone, Houghton, and Houghton. Down here, we've got a rotary elevator phone. Very cool. Houghton Direction Lantern from Sam. And Adams Designer Call Station, also from Sam. Home Elevator Adams COP from EPCO. Light. Westinghouse Black Button from Jared. Some 3D printed things that I made when I was in high school. Houghton Triangle, or Houghton Indicator. Elevator Sign. CJ Anderson Floor Indicator. Dover Floor Indicator. Westinghouse Indicator. Kone. Yeah. Moving down again. Some Imperial Motor Plates. Epco SSL from Jared. Another Epco SSL. Oh, that one's broken. Epco Circle Line from Epco Elevator Company. Epco SSL California Co Compliant. US Square. US Square. Adam. or er, Amtech. And uh, intermediate hot and I mean terminal hot. And, oh my god, I'm hella tired. In case of fire sign, Westinghouse escalator stop switch. Escalator sign. And here I have random elevator buttons. This is my only ERM button. We got a innovation, older innovation alarm button. JL vandal resistant. Adams, 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 Epco, Touch, Innovation, Houghton, and Tissenkrupp. And over here we got some signs and some brails and General Electric logo. Down here, Busted Adams call station, Otis Series 4. Also, Otis Series 4, both California Co compliant. Otis Series 1, Otis Series 1, Fire Service. Otis Hands Off Phone that I wired up. And the blue newer Series 4 indicator. There's a maintenance sticker and a Otis motor plate. Series 1 Lantern, Otis Van, that, capacity plate, and black button indicator. And there's various pencils and bracelets and stickers from ThyssenKrupp. Here's some, nothing really special, this is just in case of fire signs. Here's a drawing by Sam that he wanted to show or else I was going to get sued. So I had to show this. There's my parts. <laughs> yep. And then this is from Jason when he sent me my Lexan. Insight joke because my California Code compliant one isn't normal. It's far from normal. Here's the other part of that exit sign up there. And we got another one behind it. Over here we got some various manuals. Like this one's US, that one's Dover. There's Adams Parts Catalog, CJ Anderson Part Catalog, Dover and ThyssenKrupp, and that's Dover too. Otis Hats, the ThyssenKrupp shirt, Kone. Over here, we got a Dover traditional lantern, Schindler HT. This is just a spare panel that I just put um, 
some of my extra buns in. This is Epco, and that's Innovation Delta. Otis Lantern. Montgomery. Adams. Amtec. Westinghouse. And there's my two first cameras. Disencrypt glasses. Disencrypt hat flashlight and some Epco measuring tape. This is Westinghouse, the older Westinghouse. Bell. That's Jason's, one of Jason's favorite bells. We got an Epco bell here. And right here we got Armor Bell. It's kind of loose. And over here we got Amtec. Montgomery A series. These all sound pretty much the same. And the GAL bell. Okay. Moving up. Westinghouse indicator. CJ Anderson, I think. Epco, GAL, Armor, Haunton. Innovation, Otis, and we got this weird thing that I got from the machine room, Montgomery Relays, counter derailment panel, that, some interlock covers, more Westinghouse logos, up here, is all Dover. All my Dover stuff. So we got a help link phone here. Dover help link. Impulse lantern. Access. Dover black button. Newer Dover black button. Dover traditional. This is California co-compliant traditional, and that's Adams replacement impulse, older contact, and terminal. Right here we got custom Dover, random Dover circuit board, motor plates, just various logos. Yep. And then up here, all my armor stuff, aside from those three things over there. We got armor square. Very cool. This armor that I wired up. And then an intermediate one. Armor vandal resistant. Also armor van resistant, and we got Adams access and fire service, and here's a Dover traditional indicator. And here's an armor floor indicator. And I don't remember if I said that, but there's CJ Anderson indicator from CJ Anderson, an elevator sign, and Epco circle line indicator. My whole parts display lights up, so when you, when you push the switch, You can see the CJ Anderson indicator is lit up. That Epco is lit up. So is the Westinghouse up there. But yeah. That's about it. That, yeah. That pretty much covers almost everything in here. I don't think I missed anything. So, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It'll be exactly a year from now when I make another one. So, anyway. Thanks for watching and that'll be it.